Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a dung beetle cage that's a bit more space efficient, clean looking, and a little bit easier to access dung beetle inventories than wooden cages are. And the design is really simple and you can just put it anywhere in an existing base. So let's get right into it. Okay, so to build this cage, it's just going to be a couple foundations. Then I'm going to put down one more to make it easier to place things. And for the back wall of the cage, just a couple walls here. Go ahead and put down a ladder and for the bars of the cage it will be these omnidirectional lamp posts say so it's these things right here and then i'm going to look down and then go into the orbit camera and you can kind of just free place these i'm gonna like use the lines on the foundations and walls to line them up so i'm gonna put the first one between the edge of the foundation and the line of the foundation the next one will be between the line of the wall and the line of the foundation. Same thing with that same wall line, and then the line of the foundation, the actual edge of the foundation there, and then same thing on this side, line of the foundation, line of the wall, and then the edge of the foundation and the line on the wall there. And then we can go ahead and cap off the cage here try and hang it off as much as you can it'll just give your dung beetles the most room and then I'm gonna get rid of this foundation here I'm gonna hang that off as much as I can all right and that's basically it here we just got to cap off make the ceiling of our cage because if you don't the dung beetles will like hop out just from the collision of sitting on top of each other so I go ahead and use these paintings, or the painting canvases they are, and just put them on top of these lamp posts. So you can make them as nice or ugly as you want. I'm just doing it like this. And then go ahead and get rid of the ladder. Don't need that anymore. And start shoving these dung beetles through the bars by when you look you, you're going to be accessing the inventory of these lamp posts, but if you look at like walls and stuff, it'll say uh, options, hold for options instead, and that's when you can throw the dung beetles through the bars. And you can fit five on the bottom and five on the top. You might be able to squeeze in one or two more, but it'd be pretty hard. And honestly, it looks pretty good if you only put ten through. Okay, and so I can get them to follow me, and they'll line up a little bit better on the bottom here. You want them to be nice and level on the bottom, not hopping around. So this first guy, it might just be part of our top row as I throw this guy through. So he'll be our last bottom row. They're all pretty good. It's fine if they're tilted like that, they'll even out. They're claiming their collision space just fine with that. Go ahead and start throwing the top row on. And they'll bounce around and jiggle and you might have to pull them in and out and throw them a few times to make it work, but it shouldn't be a big issue. Honestly, I tried like a million more complicated designs to make it a little bit more compact, a little bit nicer, but it just does not turn out very nice. This is like the simplest design and it works the best. Fancy that. So go ahead and put one of them on Wondering. And go ahead and copy the settings to the nearby dung beetles. Now they'll all be on Wondering. And they will all turn the feces into fertilizer, even the top ones, even though they're floating basically. They'll all turn it into fertilizer, and I'll show you that. I'll put some feces in there and then show you that it turns into that. So I honestly spent a long time with other designs, but they just don't work out very well. They just, if you try and make this more compact than this already is, it's really hard to get the dung beetles in and out of the cages, and then sometimes it's hard to access their inventories. And then you can't put like a ceiling over the top row of dung beetles because it just like you can pick them up and see like their food and health and stuff but it will not let you open their inventory for some reason even though it doesn't really look like their collision is really being like 
covered by the ceiling, but it just is, so it's really annoying. So these paintings make it so they're not getting their collision covered, and this just works out the best. It's like the simplest, stupidest design, and it honestly feels like I did no work <laughs> with how this turned out, but it was, it's just, this is what I came to in the end. It's honestly hilarious, but all right. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you want to see more efficient designs like this for Arc 1, Arc 1.5, Survival Ascended, Arc 2, 3, 8, 9, whatever they come out with. I will be here trying to figure out some cool shit. So go ahead and subscribe. Uh, comment below if you have any questions or anything that you can add on to this design to make it better. And leave a like. See ya.